through Red Square. There's three hours to go to England. If I look knackered, it's because I am. I did another night train from St. Petersburg last night. Oh. And, we've, and we've, look, at, you should have pity. When did you last get a night train? Are you, I, I, actually, I had, I had whoa, 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 why are you pausing? Not, not a night train, but I went to, three, four days ago, I went to do the, I forgot the game. Uh, it was France v Uruguay. Right. Four o'clock flight from Moscow to Nizhny Novgorod. Yeah. And a two o'clock flight back the same or well, the day after. So basically it was a 20, and I got back at four in the morning. So it was a 24 hour job in. I have to say it took me a couple of days to recover from that for this old man. Just landed in Moscow I'm at the train station at the airport just to the north of the city, which is very close to the point where the German tanks advanced to in the, the Second World War and there's a memorial nearby. I was a bit nervous getting into Russia because I've got a fan ID, but I acquired it using a ticket which I've not got or never had, just a generic ticket. But I got through with no problems. I'm trying to get tickets for the two semi final games uh, England, Croatia and Belgium against France. I've just been offered one for the England game for $700. Got offered one for the France game for 485. It's a bit more than I'm willing to pay. Can't really afford to be paying that much money. Uh, normally I'd be covering these tournaments as a journalist, but I didn't apply for accreditation for this one because I wanted some time with my family. Uh, I had a big project to do and I'm going on Manchester United's pre-season on Sunday. But I thought I'd come out to Russia for a couple of days. I've got mates out here, try and get some tickets, just chance my arm. Got a couple of hundred dollars to try and get tickets for each of the games and I've heard the atmosphere is brilliant. I'm going to head into the centre of Moscow now and see what's happening. My favourite building in the world there by the way. It's beautiful, I can remember in 92 I know, a pitch I came it was in your debut wasn't it? Yeah. Turn um, it round, Andy. You got you got reverse, I think. You know, you've got one of those little. Oh yeah, yeah. I've just got one right. Where's things. this interview going? Here? So you've had a good time in Russia. Been brilliant, no? I've enjoyed it. Uh, no, I didn't think I would as much. I, I contemplated long and hard whether to do two weeks or four weeks. And I said four. I'm glad I've done four, particularly obviously with how England have done, because it's made it obviously a better tournament. And the the city's been unbelievable. They've put an unbelievable show. I mean, anybody that's Look been at here. That backdrop here between our heads. I know, but you turn it around. You see. The, I've turned it round already. Hey, you mule. <laughs> the Kremlin and the Kremlin and bloody St Basil's Cathedral's in front of you. Hey, are. whose tomb's at there? Whose tomb's at? It's Lenin. Right. It's the mausoleum of Lenin. Right. He's been there for a few years, the boy. Look at this history lesson for United We Stand. This is the Kremlin. Listeners. Oh, that's the Kremlin. No, that's, that, that. <laughs> that's the Kremlin. That's the Kremlin. St Basil's. You've been inside it. And then you've got Gum. That's a shopping centre where all the Sars uh, family used to shop hundreds of years ago and buy international foreign imports. Oh, I've done the full tour, me, by the way. Absolutely indoctrinated in Russian culture. All right, what's the second biggest city in Russia? Oh, biggest, as in what? No, the second way? biggest in terms of population. It's a simple question. Moscow is the biggest. I'm going to say St. Petersburg, but Are I don't you correct? know. correct. Yeah. I must apologise because I got some of your answers wrong when we last had you on this podcast St. in St. Beijing Petersburg, Airport. St. Petersburg, yeah. You did, um... Do you know, do you know um, the story behind the architect of St. Basil's Cathedral? No. So I It's not doing your tower in Manchester, is to, it? <laughs> no. Well, no, because to be fair, I don't think I'll be able to get, get away with gouging his eyes out. So basically, the architect had his eyes gouged out because the, I think it was Ivan the Terrible didn't want the architect to ever, ever design a building like that again because it was so beautiful apparently that's the true story who's going to win tonight england are going to win i think i don't know why i put a think on the end i think england will win I, i'll be always on it I'm, I'm a i'm not great at predictions but i just feel having watched croatia live twice england are going to win 